Hi guys, it's Serena Math Person. Today I'll be going over question 201 on SO exam P. So pause the video quick and try this problem yourself. Okay, ask me your agenda. Let, let's just dive right in. So they're asking you, calculate the probability that a number of family visiting a park has exactly six members. M is equal to six. Given that exactly, I'm going to denote N. N as the number of um, people that ride the roller coaster. That ride a roller coaster. Oh my goodness, my handwriting. <laughs> but it's okay. <laughs> okay, N is equal to five. Okay, so this is what we're looking for. And they give you the probability um, for prob um, M, which is given here. And they also give you the probability of N, F of N given M, little m, is equal to this thing right here, is a uniform distribution on a set of 1 to m. So this is going to be, the probability distribution function is just going to be 1 over n, be, because this is a discrete prob, discrete probability. And you know how like for, if it's a uniform di pro probability going from like 0 to um, b, for example, then you do 1 over b minus 0, right? But that's because this is in with a uniform distribution, you want to make sure you include all of the set. So if this is a discrete distribution going from 1 to m, you want to make sure you include m. So how do you make sure that it includes m? So you want to think about it starting from 0. So then the probability distribution function would just be um, m minus 0, so it would just be m. But then the thing is, they give you the probability, we're looking for a probability that's m given n, which is the opposite of this. So that's a good sign that you have to use the Bayes theorem. If you don't remember the Bayes theorem, we can always derive it real quick. So you know the probability of n given m is equal to probability probability of n and m divided by probability of m. So this we know. And we, we know this one is equal to the probability of m and m divided by probability of n, right? So that if we solve this for probability of the intersection, the intersection is going to be equal to the probability of m times the probability of n given m, right? So we can just plug that in, and that's basically what Bayes' theorem is. It just decomposes it. So probability of n times probability of n given m. But then we, we're looking for specific areas, right? We're looking for when specifically n is equal to 5. So n is equal to 5, and when m is equal to 6. So I'm going to break that. I'm going to write that down real quick. Probably that m is equal to 6 times the probability that 5 given m is equal to 6 <laughs> divided by the probability that n is equal to 5. So what is the probability that m is equal to 6? Well, if m is equal to 6, it's going to be 8 minus 6, which is over 2 over 28. So we just have to plug in m, m is equal to 6 to this formula right here because this is exactly our, what we're looking for. So this is... 1 over 6 divided by what is the probability that n is equal to 5? Well, you know for a good chance that this is going to be part of the denominator because that's just how conditional probability works. But how much? So this we can use the law of total probability and break it down. Probability that n is equal to 5 is equal to probability of n is equal to 5 given m is equal to 1 times probability that m is equal to 1 plus the probability that n is equal to 5 given m is equal to 2 times probability that m is equal to 2 and so on and so on. But the thing is, can if the number of people riding a roller coaster is 5, can you have just one person going? No. So, so you can't have, technically the probability of this is just equal to 0 because there's no way that five people ride the roller coaster given that only one person goes, right? <laughs> so M can't be one, two, three, or four. But, but M can, however, be five, right? So then we can actually start this at N is equal to five given M is equal to five times the probability that M is equal to five plus the probability that N is equal to five given M is equal to six times the probability that M equals 6 plus finally because this is the discrete and m is the final number 7 we can stop here after this m is equal to 7 times the probability that m is equal to 7 okay so that's not too bad we have every ingredient we need 
we know this one right here, n is equal to 5. Given m is equal to 5, we just have to plug 5 in for this formula here. So that's going to be 1 over 5 times, and m is probably the m is right here, 8 minus 5, which is 3. 3 over 28 plus n is equal to 5, given m equals 6. That's exactly what we found on the numerator. And next, finally, when it's, when it's equal to 7, it's going to be 1 over 7 times 1 over 28. Okay, that kind of looks really messy, but I'll just write it all right here. <laughs> 2 over 28 times 1 over 6 divided by this number right here. I'm just going to copy and paste real quick. So everything you can you see is multiplied by 18, 1 over 28, so we can just factor that 28 out. So you're left with 2 over 6 divided by 3 over 5 plus 2 over 6 plus 1 over 7, which is equal to... 2 over 6 divided by 113 over 105, which is equal to 0 0.309734, so on and so on, which is approximately equal to 0.31, which is your answer E. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!